Here we're going to be going through a basic example here, how to determine the interest capitalization on a construction of an asset here. And we're going to be constructing a building here. And what we have to do is we have to determine the avoidable interest versus the actual interest here on this project. And the lesser amount here is going to be capitalized. So what is we have for our example here? On 11-1, 20X1, Corporation A contracted Corporation A to construct a building here for 2.8 million dollars on land purchase co uh, costing $200,000. So the total uh, project cost here is for $3 million and the building is going to be completed here on 1231 20x2 here and it's going to be paid for at the end of the year. That's going to be entirely paid for. So when we're dealing with this interest capitalization we have to determine what our our total debt here, our total out debt outstanding here for the company and this is at 1231 20x2 and in this case we're going to have to break it down here. We got specific construction debt. This is the debt that's taken out to pay for this project. There was a special note taken out here, a 15% three-year note, annual interest here paid at the end of the year, 1231 for, uh, I'm not going to go through all these numbers here, but it happened to be for one and a half million dollars. Now we have to determine all the other debt here for the company. And in this case, uh, we have a 10% five-year note, again, annual interest at the end of the year here for that specific amount. And then they also have a 12% 10-year bond annual interest at the end of the year at that specific amount. So now the next thing is let's go and step through this step by step here. So we have to determine our, our payments here uh, during the year 20x2 and what I have it set up here is we've got the date here and then the specific amount here that we made on a payment here to pay for this uh, building and land and this this project here and the total amount here is for three million dollars. So what we have to do here is we have to determine the weighted average of accumulated expenditures during 20x2 and we do it in this fashion. We take our current year capitalization period times this uh, the expenditure amount here. So what is how do we figure out this current year capitalization period? So what we do is we look at the payment here that we're making at a specific date. In this case it's made here at the first of the year here and then we have to compare it to the end of the year here. So uh, what we have here is a 12 month period. So our const our current year capitalization period here would be the 12 months divided by the 12 months in a year. Total amount here would be a unit of one. So taking one here times uh, that fractional amount here times our amount gives us our weighted average uh, um, accumulated expenditure here for that first payment. And then we would do the same here for each of the next payments. So look at here in March 1st, well how much is uh, it that we'd have 10 months left in a year here from March 1st. Divide that by 12 months in a year. We get that a fractional amount times our payment amount here. And then for 5 1, same thing here. Well, how many months are left in a year here? Well, there's 8. So we'd have a fractional amount of 8 divided by 12 times our uh, expenditure amount here gives us our weighted average uh, amount here. In this case, it was $720,000. Now let's look at this last payment. It's made at the very last date of the year in 1231. So capitalization period. Well, it was made at the end of the year, so it would be a zero amount of capitalization. Uh, so, what uh, for the capitalization period? So, what we would do here is we just sum up our weighted average accumulated expenditures here, and we come up with a sum total amount here of one million six hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now, this is where we come in to calculate our. Uh, we use this here to calculate our avoidable interest here, and the avoidable interest here just on, is for on this construction project. So, if we didn't take out the uh, project here, we were, didn't have to borrow money for this project, then we wouldn't. This is the interest that we we require for the project, but it wouldn't normally be required if had we not taken out the project here. So what we do here is we take our aid, weighted average accumulated expenditures. Well, we know it's one million six hundred and forty thousand dollars. We got that calculated up here, and then we have this specific debt here on this project. That was one and a half million dollar debt here. That was that fifteen percent construction note. So we would take that interest rate here times our uh, specific amount here, and we come up with our avoidable interest here on this on that uh, that was the uh, interest here on this 15 percent construction note but now we have to determine uh, the uh, addition we're going to have to borrow or take money from our additional other debt here 
to pay for this project here. So we have the one and a half million dollars that was assigned here and we know with our weighted average accumulated expenditure here is for one million six hundred forty thousand dollars so the difference here goes comes from our additional debt here a hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now we have to take that times the interest rate. Well this is what we have to determine here and it has to be a weighted average interest rate so let's go down and look at that. So this is one it's hundred forty thousand dollars is coming from our other debt here and that was that 10% five-year note and that 12% 10-year bond and, and each of them has here a principal amount here showing and then the interest for the annual interest amount here at 10% times our principal in this case we come up at our interest expense and then same for the bond here interest rate times the principal amount gives us our interest expense here so what we do here is we'd sum our total principal here on our other debt here and our total interest for the year here on our other debt. So now this is where we can determine our weighted average interest. So we took a total interest here, in this case it was $264,000, and divide it by our total principal, in this case it was $2,300,000. And then the, the division here comes up with a weighted average interest rate here of 11 0.04%. So now we can figure out our avoidable interest here for this additional debt. So we take our $140,000 amount here times 11.04% weighted average interest rate and we come up with our avoidable interest here, 15,456. So now the total amount here uh, for this uh, weighted average accumulated expenditures here, the avoidable interest would just be the sum of those amounts here for two hundred and forty thousand four hundred fifty six dollars so this is what this we had to calculate first here our avoidable interest now let's look at the other uh, interest that we have to uh, calculate here so this the next thing we have to do is we have to determine the actual interest cost that the company would have for the year 20x2 in this case so in this case the actual interest cost represents the going to represent the amount, maximum amount of interest that can be capitalized here during 20x2 so what do we have here for our actual interest cost? Well, we can go back up here, and, and that would be all our debt that's outstanding. And those are the three items here that, that would be the specific debt plus our other debt. So let's go and look at it here. So we have this construction note here from our specific debt uh, times the interest rate gives us this, uh, the amount here of interest cost. And then we have our five-year um, uh, note here principal times at interest gives us our interest cost here and then our 10-year bonds here the uh, principal amount here times the interest rate gives us the interest cost here so just summing our total amounts here this is all the interest all the uh, debt that we have outstanding our total cost for the period here uh, that would be our we sum those amount and we come up with our actual interest here of four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars so now uh, knowing our actual interest cost here and our avoidable interest we can determine the amount that we can cap or going to be capitalizing here so the interest cost that can be capitalized is the lesser of the avoidable interest and the actual interest here. So remember our avoidable interest here was $240,456 and then our actual interest that was the $479,000 amount. So what we do is we make a com we compare them here and we take the lesser amount. In this case the of and we always do that. You compare your avoidable interest to the actual interest here and you take the minimum amount. In this case the minimum amount here was 240,000 four hundred and fifty six dollars so that's the uh, lesser amount here and that can be capitalized and that goes on to the balance sheet here and I have to make the point here had the actual interest been lesser than the avoidable interest then that it would be the amount that would be capitalized here now the other point we want to make here the interest expense uh, this is what's going on to the income statement so remember the avoidable interest in this case that's the lesser amount here and we're going to capitalize that that's going to go on to our balance sheet here it's going to be capitalized and depreciated and then the interest expense that's simply the this is the actual interest in this case it was four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars here for the year less our avoidable interest gives us the interest expense here of two hundred thirty eight thousand five hundred and forty four dollars that's what's going to go on to our income statement here so now uh, we've made made our determination here on the amount of interest that we can capitalize and it was the minimum uh, that was the lesser amount here between the actual interest cost here and our avoidable interest now let's go in and we'll just look at the journal entries that we'd have to make here uh, for this uh, this project for the year 
Okay, now let's quickly go over Corporation A's journal entries here for 20x2 uh, for this project here. So we've got our expenditures here at the date here that we make these expenditures here on this project. Total project here is for $3 million. So let's look at it from our cash account here. So we credit or reduce our cash account here for uh, first payment here was for $420,000. Now that included both the land and building here. So the land we knew it had $200,000. So we debit our land account here for $200,000. And then our uh, the remaining amount here would go to our building here for debit that here for $220,000. So then the next payments here all would be debited or reduce our cash here for those payments. Then we debit or increase our building account here. Then what we really want to look at here is this total interest here, uh, $479,000 a cash payment that had to be made here. So that is broken down here uh, with a capitalized interest here on the building. Remember that was the avoidable interest. That was the lesser between the actual interest here, $479,000 here, and the $240,456 here of avoidable interest that we calculated. So that is this lesser amount here. That goes as a capitalized interest here on this building debited that here for two hundred forty thousand four hundred fifty six dollars now remember this amount here would be this capitalized interest on the building that would be depreciated here over the life of the building here and then the remaining amount here goes to our interest expense that was the actual interest here four hundred seventy nine thousand less our avoidable interest here of two hundred forty nine thousand four fifty six gives us uh, interest expense here for the year here of $238,544. So our interest expense here would be debited or increased for, by that amount here on our income statement. And then the other amounts here, you can see here our land on a balance sheet, our building here on a balance sheet, and also the capitalized interest on our building here on our balance sheet. And remember this capitalized interest, uh, that gets depreciated here over the life of the building.